What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we want to teach you how to do a wheelie on a dirt bike. This is my 2012 Honda CRF 250R. I grew up racing dirt bikes. When you're not on the track, it's always fun to do a wheelie so you can ride the longest wheelie and just get better at balance in riding your bike and getting that front tire up off the ground. So we're gonna go over three different ways that you can get that tire off the ground. I'm gonna start off with my personal favorite, which is basically just doing a power wheelie. So there's two different ways that you can do this. One is just getting into the throttle, maybe you're in third or fourth gear, a higher gear where you're getting quicker or faster, and you're just laying on that, leaning back, maybe you hit a bump in the road or the trails, and you can get that tire up off the ground. Another way to do it is in slower speed situations, you can give the bike some gas, let off the gas, let the bike slow down a little bit, and then just rip on the throttle and get that tire up. Personally, I like doing that. I feel like I have a lot more control in doing it that way. The third way I would say is a little bit more advanced, but you can also use this on maybe a less powerful bike, and that is just dumping the clutch. So have the clutch all the way in, give the bike a lot of gas, just let it out in one motion there, and that can pop your tire off the ground. Personally, I think that's a little bit more risky. It does help, like I said, on lower powered bikes. I used to do that on my TTR 125 just because it didn't have enough power to get that tire off the ground. On a bike like this, I don't think it's necessary. It has plenty of power where you can just do a power wheelie. All right, so as I make my way over to this area of the field here, I wanna start off with the popping the clutch method. Now, one thing that I would recommend or not recommend is to not pop the clutch while you're at a standstill. If you've seen videos on YouTube where newbies get on a bike, they just pop the clutch, the bike goes out from under them, wheel goes straight up to the sky. That is not something that you wanna do. So in popping the clutch, you wanna be moving. I would also recommend maybe being uphill or hit a small bump in the terrain. So you can use that to help get that tire off the ground if you're learning how to do this. So I'm gonna go into first gear. I'm gonna let the clutch all the way out. So that way we can get moving. And then I'll immediately pull the clutch in, give it some gas and let it back out. And you can see just with that method there, I was able to get the tire off the ground slightly. Now the grass might be a little bit wet, so I didn't get full traction there. But what you also have to monitor too, is how much throttle you have on the bike. Because like I just mentioned, you can put this tire straight up to the sky if you want and fall right off the back. So that is one reason why doing or popping the clutch is not my favorite, just because you have to have a sweet spot in the throttle so you don't go too far back. So I'm gonna do that one more time here. We'll get the bike moving. I do also wanna turn around real quick. So that way the clutch is all the way out. Okay, and I am sitting down for this. So here we go. Now you can see how quickly the bike went up because I gave it a lot more gas. I would also recommend too, sitting down just because it lowers your center of gravity at slower speeds and then stand up when you're going much faster. Just because if I try to stand up now, I just don't have the right balance with being able to twist the throttle enough. So by sitting down, we can do it again. And you can see I didn't quite have enough throttle to keep that tire up off the ground. So actually it's really not that hard to do, but again, you don't wanna go all the way up to the sky and popping that clutch. So that is one way out of the way. The second one that we're gonna go into is the power wheelie. So there's two different versions, as I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna still keep the bike in first gear here. Now with the power wheelie, I feel like you can go into a higher gear and still make it work. So in first gear, I'm basically just gonna rip on the gas right now. And you can see the bike is so powerful. Doing the clutch, I was able to ride this much farther than in popping the clutch, just by giving it a little bit of gas, and I am still sitting down. Now what I love about doing a power wheelie is you could actually stand up too, and just give it a little bit of gas and lean back, and you can learn how to balance and keep that tire off the ground. So you can see I'm riding these much farther just by doing the power wheelie. So I'll do it one more time standing up, just give it a little bit of gas and lean back. And you can see I started going over to the left there. You just have to work on your balance and being able to ride that. And so the last one that I wanna show is the power wheelie where you give it gas, let off and give it gas again. So I'm gonna be in second gear now where we're gonna be moving just a little bit faster in order to do that. So you're gonna get up to speed here. So you can see, especially if you're going at a higher rate of speed, that definitely helps. I'll do it one more time here. So you see, we get up to speed, let off, and at higher speeds, it's much easier to maintain your balance while you're standing. 
But then coming back to first gear here, we can do it again, where I'm just gonna lean back. I'll do it again here. And you can see, once you start to get the hang of it, just practicing in an open field like this, you can start to uh, see how, how much longer you can ride it, you can get your balance going. Just like that. Now that was in first gear. It's very hard, at least for me, to shift between gears while the front tire is off the ground. So we'll go to second gear here, do the power wheelie. Now you can see in second gear, that wasn't quite enough. So if I go to pop the clutch now, woo, you can see that that can help if you are in a higher gear. So it's mainly just your preference, how comfortable you feel getting that tire off the ground. Woo! <laughs> and you can see, lean into the left, just learning how to balance. But honestly, I liked popping the clutch in second gear. Not something that I do often, but it's definitely pretty cool if you want to stay in a higher gear. Woo! Almost hit the cameraman there. <laughs> All right, so let's do one more from second gear. Comment down below, what is your favorite way to pop a wheelie on a dirt bike? Oh, that wasn't it. All right, so there you guys have it. Basically three different ways that you can get the front tire up off the ground. Now, personally, after doing a couple wheelies there for you guys, I did feel a little bit more comfortable, especially going in a higher gear. So I was in second gear, as I mentioned in the video, but it can also be a lot more advanced especially on a larger bike like this with more power. So I don't feel like that's something that you should start off with. The power wheelie is a great way just to get that tire off the ground, kind of modulate your throttle and learn how much throttle that you have to give the bike to get that front tire up off the ground. So doing a power wheelie is a great way to ease into learning how to do a wheelie. And then of course you can go from there also, it can be a great way to learn how to balance. So you don't have that tire too high off the ground and you can learn to balance left or right just depending on where you are. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment down below which way you use to do a wheelie on your dirt bike. Give the video a huge thumbs up and smash that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on our daily uploads. We'll see you guys in the next video.